ABL Space Systems, uh, they recently raised $90 million uh, for their mobile launch system. So they're developing a launch vehicle for small satellites. Essentially, they're building a rocket in-house and they also, it comes with a mobile launch system that can be easily launched from pretty much anywhere. They're, they're testing out two sites, Cape Canaveral in Florida, and then also uh, Vanderburg Air Force Base in California. The mission from the very beginning has been to provide a low cost option uh, for satellites uh, launch into low orbit. Right now they're expanding their El Segundo facility. The RS-1's maiden launch is set for Q1 of next year. The RS-1 is capable of launching 1,350 kilograms into space at a cost of $12 million per mission. And what's interesting, one of the founders came from SpaceX, so we're starting to see, you know, the the sort of effect of SpaceX being in California. Some of these smaller uh, new space economy startups are popping up. Right now, there are about 70 people. They're hiring for over 30 positions. They're located in El Segundo, California. Um, they're going to be hiring for engineers that come from the space aerospace industry. They're also hiring for engineers that are that don't have industry experience that are just really talented. Uh, software engineers and they're also hiring for you know welders positions like that and, and a lot of these companies will have roles for recruiting and, and business type of leads as well. Space is becoming more accessible. I'll put a link to the job postings and any other relevant information uh, below the video. Uh, the idea of space, you know the new space economy, I'm going to continue to learn more about it. Uh, it's becoming more accessible. Space, the next frontier, it's happening. Startups are popping up. Get into it. Talk soon.